What is up, guys? Welcome back to Rob M Studios. I'm your host, Rob M, and this is another We Play Wednesday. This Wednesday, we are reviewing Wakanda Forever. So, this game is for ages 10 and up and can be played with three to five players. So, we got Black Panther on the cover here. Nice and shiny cover. On the back, it shows you what is included in the box for the game. You got your uh, Black Panther uh, figurine here. So the object of the game is to be Black Panther at the end and to have the most vibranium points. So you can choose different tribes to be. You got the Jabari tribe. You have the Merchant tribe. The Mining tribe. The River tribe and the Border Tribe. So you can choose between any one of those and each of them has a bonus when you play. So the Jabari Tribe, while attacking the villain, you may re-roll the only purple battle dice and the red Dora Milaje die if either lands on a blank side. You may do it once per turn. The River Tribe, you instantly win all ties of any kind, including when usurping the Black Panther. You also get a Silver Tech Upgrade die for free in the ceremonial one-on-one -on -one battle if you are the challenger. The Border Tribe's bonus is take two turns when you're the Black Panther. What? That's pretty cool. Your second turn is only taken after everyone else goes, and you may only use the Red Dora Milaje Tribe die and Purple Battle die. For the Mining Tribe, gain an additional Vibranium each time you roll a single vibranium on the light blue vibranium dice. And the mer merchant tribe, double the vibranium urn when it's rolled on any silver tech upgrade dice. So when we first started playing this game, we had no idea what to do. The list of rules is very long, so I would detract that from the game. But once you play and understand it, it is a lot of fun. There is a link at the top to spinmasters.com that explains how to play the game in video format and that's a little bit easier to understand so I'm glad they were able to add that but at the same time they probably could have made it a lot simpler and instead of all this writing given all that I still really do enjoy the game so let's kind of talk about it a little bit and I'll show you some of the game pieces so we have your um, tribal mount here. This is where the uh, bad guy is going to go. So there are many of the villain uh, cards here. They're going to get shuffled at the, begin at the beginning of the game. One's going to go onto that mound there. And based on who it is, that specific guy is going to attack a corresponding uh, tribe. So all the different tribes have like a color coded to them. And for example, you can see here these two match up. So if you're playing as the Jabari tribe when you're attacked by Taskmaster, you are going to only be able to roll one of the vibranium die instead of two. What does that all mean? Well, let's try to explain it a little bit, but again, for full detailed instructions, you're going to want to check out that other site. So, first you're going to set up the game, get all your pieces out, everyone's going to get one of these, and you have a bunch of dice to use. So once you roll the vibranium dice, which are the light blue dice, everybody's going to do that at the beginning of the game, and you're going to get that many vibranium pieces based on your roll. So that's going to start the game. The player that gets the least amount of vibranium is going to get to be the Black Panther first. The Black Panther plays first on each turn when attacking the villain. You're going to get to trade in your vibranium for your 
tech dice, your gray dice here. And that's going to allow you to have more, basically more attack points on the villain and get closer to defeating him. So around your board that you can see here, Taskmaster is 17 strength. So you're going to have to knock him down 17 uh, vibranium. So you're going to roll all your dice. It's simple to simplify it a little bit. And based on that, you're going to move that much closer to the end. Once he's defeated, uh, the card actually goes to the Black Panther, but you do get the different points as you go around. So once that is done and the villain is defeated, now you can try to challenge to become the next Black Panther. So you have your voting die, or voting coin. One side is to let the current Black Panther reign, and the other side is to challenge. So if you and, say, you're playing with four people, and somebody else also challenges the Black Panther, the person with the most vibranium will get to be the challenger. So again, pretty complicated. It took us a few tries to really understand the game, but I did want to review it because I really do enjoy playing it with my family, and it is fun to say, Wakanda forever. I don't always say it right, but it's still fun. <laughs> Wakanda forever. I think you got to be a kid. Put on your Black Panther costume and really get into it, right? So in order to beat the Black Panther, you're going to decide how many vibranium you're going to trade in to roll these dice. And if you can get more Black Panther uh, symbols than the current Black Panther, then you'll be able to take over the role as Black Panther and continue the game. So on the back of each of the players' mats that kind of go in front of you to hide your different stuff, kind of hide the vibranium points that you have, it kind of explains a little bit. As the Black Panther, you get to use the red die, the Doge Milan uh, dice. And then you also can roll the purple one without any points. And then using one vibranium, you can roll two dice. Two vibranium, you can roll three dice. With four vibranium, you can roll four dice. And with six vibranium, you can roll five dice. So that's kind of where people get confused a little bit when playing, is that you think you're going to pay five to roll five dice, but you really have to play six. So it's kind of nice to play somewhere between two and four dice, especially when you're the Black Panther, then you'll get to roll more. So again, the game is a lot of fun. Go ahead and, you know, pick up a copy for yourself if you like this review and check out all the great villains and fun that you can have with the game. So I'll show you a few of them just to get you an idea. And then, also, as you go through the game, you'll collect your vibranium points. So, also shown on here on the side, it gives you suggested points to play to. So, if you're playing with three people, maybe play to 55 tokens, four people, 45 tokens, five people, 35 what we did is played a little bit less than that. I believe it was like 20 or 30. And you have a simpler version of the game where you can shuffle all the villain cards and hand one out to each player at the beginning of the game. Because when you win, defeat the villains, um, if you're the Black Panther, you get to keep the card. But when you defeat the villains, you'll get the bonus on the card. 
So, say for Crossbones, his bonus is, if you're the Black Panther, you get a tech upgrade die for free while attacking the villain. So, these give you some nice bonuses, too. So, this is the game Wakanda Forever. Again, I'm your host, Rob M. I want to thank you for watching. And again, please like, please subscribe, and leave a comment below on a game you might want reviewed in the future. Next week for We Play Wednesday, we're going to dive back into the game of Redemption a little bit more. So stay tuned for those videos. And again, thank you for watching.